How's it going everybody? Welcome back. Let's talk about some of the best VPNs that you can use to set up on your Fire Stick. Now, by the way, the setup process is very simple no matter which VPN you choose. All you need to do really is, let me just show you guys here, uh, basically look up the VPN, whether it's Express, Nord, or Surfshark on your Fire Stick store or your Amazon store and you'll be good to go. Just go ahead and download it and you will have access to it. Now, the user interface is going to be very similar to what you're seeing right here, whether it's Express, Nord, or Surfshark. Now, before we talk about these VPNs, you can grab yourself an exclusive discount that's also covered by a 30-day money-back guarantee using the links down below. Once you've chosen a plan, you'll get your login credentials. And once you have your login credentials, you can go ahead and install the application on your Fire Stick. And from there, you'll be able to connect to the desired server and access all the streaming services that you're looking to stream, no matter what it is. Just connect to the relevant server and you'll be good to go. And all these VPNs are, of course, compatible with the Fire Stick. Granted, you have a new Fire Stick. The older Fire Sticks may not be compatible, so in that case, you'll probably have to go the slightly more complicated route of installing the VPN on your router. Uh, but I'd just recommend getting the new Fire Stick if you're going to uh, invest in a new router, unless that's something you're looking for, you might as well just get the new Fire Stick and uh, yeah, that'll be natively compatible with the VPNs and that's pretty much it. It's just a much easier solution. So that's as simple as it gets. Now let's talk about which one of these VPNs could be the best choice for you. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs, and I've narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch, they're excellent for torrenting, and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. And that's why these are my favorite three. But depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you, and I'll explain why. Starting with ExpressVPN. And this is going to be the best one if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN. And it has the most verified no locks policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries, allowing you to access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account, and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best most reliable vpn is and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest levels of reliability express vpn is my go-to choice for those looking for a premium vpn next up is nord vpn and nord is what i consider to be the best value vpn it has over 5400 servers in 60 countries and while more servers does not necessarily mean better service this can help with speed and latency especially if you use a vpn for gaming or if you want extra features such as threat protection which blocks ads malware ridden websites as well as protect your device from harmful files which is a neat little feature and so nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with and that's where the value for the money comes from especially that it's about as fast as expressvpn in terms of performance and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription as opposed to expressvpn's five device limit so all in all if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your vpn then NordVPN would be the one to get. And then finally, Surfshark is my best pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account. So it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. Also, you still get bonus features such as an ad blocker for or blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're trying to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money, but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a larger family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these VPNs are definitely the best in the business. ExpressVPN is a premium VPN with a 
a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity, and it's perfect for those that are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Now, NordVPN is a well-rounded high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions such as strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you would like, which is a great plus. And that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn a little bit more about them. And of course, they're all covered by a 30-day money-back guarantee in case you're not satisfied for whatever reason. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.